Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We've made a little progress since we were last together. I have an idea that I'll talk about as we're driving to some other places. My idea, however, isn't working. So we are now in the middle of France somewhere. Actually, on the western side of France. And uh, we're here in Nantes. And we want to take... Um, what, what I found for us today, though, it looks pretty interesting, is another special transport job going to Civaux. It is a high-tech device, a mysteriously named high-tech device. It'll pick us up 20,000 euros, roughly, and it's a nice uh, six-hour drive. So we're going to go pick this up and get started on this. Yeah, yeah, we can handle it. I have faith in the blue, the purple Viking here. So we'll get started here. I think I'll be driving mostly in the daytime. I know that um, we have had quite a few night drives recently, and I've been trying to... Uh, adjust that how do we get out of here where are we i think we go either way right let's just go this way okie dokie so we'll get uh oops ah stuck what am i doing Ugh. <laughs> it's a great start okay so despite this what could possibly go wrong with this wonderful uh initial starting job here so let's uh get on the road here we, looks like we have a little bit of a drive about uh what, oh it's only three minutes to our pickup nice well let's just stick around here so we'll get this going i'm kind of curious to see what it looks like at the start here so let's drive over there and it is yeah 12 30 in the afternoon so i think we should have pretty much all of this ride in the daytime right Zipping around, stop blue car. And right, I thought it looked farther away on the map, but I must have been mistaken. It's so easy to drive without anything on this. Where's our pick it up? All right, I think that's right here, right? What's he looking at his watch for? I'm in plenty of time. Do I press this? Freight market? I think I pressed this right here, right? Take job. All right. Continue. What? Okay, four o'clock in the afternoon. Plenty right. Nice. Guy <laughs> with the broom sweeping up after us. All that high, st high tech stuff leaking out. I think we're ready to go here. Let's actually, if I can get a screenshot of this, that'd be pretty cool somewhere. Another one? Nope. That's not the screenshot I want. Hmm. That's kind of cool there, though. And how about right there? And there. Nice. That'll do. Okie dokie. I've seen enough. Let's get started. Yeah, we know all this stuff. We're experienced veterans now. So off we go. We have to get out to the exit over there. Their high tech device. How does it look from the back here? Ah, oh, pretty cool. It's like a big shuffleboard puck, huh? Or a hockey puck. Okay, I have to remember to be careful on the width. Six hours and 17 minutes here. See if I have a better start. Last time it took me about five minutes to completely rack up the front of the, the back of the truck on that bus stop, right? Wasn't my sharpest turn here either. They're gonna block us all off for us? Excellent, good. Let's get the gates up, guys. Nice wide turn here. Take the whole street up. Yep. We're doing pretty well so far. I think we're... It'd be nice if we could make it this time without hitting anything. I think last time we did about 6% damage to the truck, right? So this time we're aiming for a lot less. And no deaths, hopefully. So this is probably actually the most fun part. We missed that sign, too. I feel like I need to be almost in the middle here just to not kill everybody on the sidewalk and stuff. I think uh, on another, on more news here. So we don't, we don't have to stop for anything, right? Because they take care of all the traffic for us. Good. Left hand turns pretty easy. Stay in the middle of the road. Okay. So we take a nice wide right hand turn. Kezo, kezo. What's that mean? We'll go to the right here. Nice. Try not to demolish that car. 
There we go. We're doing pretty well here. Oh, yes. Speaking of which, actually, I'll wait till we get on the highway to talk about incidental things here. So let's go right across this. That's right. I did take out a few of the signs on. Yep, there's one. Got one sign in the mirror there. That's not too bad, though. They don't. All right, stay away from that. All right, people are out watching us. That's pretty cool. It's a big deal in the in the countryside of France here now. All right, Let's see if I can not take out the sign this time. Let's go closer to the middle. Okay. Let's not take out the railroad posts either. That would be a bummer. Missed that. Good. And not take out the railroad light signals. Good. Avoid the light posts. Okay. I think we've only gotten one sign so far. That's pretty cool. So let's, um, looks like we're almost to the highway here. So let's, we'll connect as we're getting closer to the highway and uh, touch base. I've got a couple things I want to mention and talk about. A couple of things I've been doing and talk a little bit about stuff that's happened in between. But we'll save that till I have a little more brain space um, out on the highway here. We are about an hour and a half into the drive right now. It's been much too more challenging than the last special transport. These are all one lane highways, a lot of sharp turns, corners, some traffic and stuff like that. So this has been uh, kind of slow going in some places, a lot of maneuvering. Uh, whereas the last one, once we got on the highway out of Naples, I think it was, it was pretty much just a straight highway shot, whereas this is anything but that. This is a nice kind of straight stretch here, though I thought I might be able to do some talking. Don't have to concentrate as much. But a, a few things I wanted to, to kind of chat a little bit about, and the sun's going down too, so I thought maybe we could talk while the sun's still up in the sky here. But we are at 110,000 right now. Uh, oh, there's a sign. Don't want to. So that's our second sign. They have put these posts here strategically to catch us when we're not paying attention Let's go straight across straight across don't want to catch that post let's miss it okay good so yeah when we last left i think we had just finished up the rome achievement and we were done with italy and then i thought i had an idea i thought there's an Orient Express achievement, which means that you have to do six different legs of a journey, starting in Paris and ending up in Istanbul. And I thought that'd be pretty cool. So I drove to Paris and did a couple trips getting into Paris. And then I looked for the first leg, which is Par Paris to Strasbourg. But there was none of that available. And I thought that would be the return kind of episode is to say, let's try to get the first leg of this journey by doing that. But there wasn't anything available. So I ended up taking this journey to the western side of France. Now I'm trying to get them get back to Paris. But there wasn't really anything to do an episode. And I wanted to do an episode that was going back to Paris. So instead I thought we would do this and kind of poke around Paris a little bit. But that uh, Orient Express achievement is one of the rarest achievements in the game. I should be going a lot faster, shouldn't I? One of the rarest achievements in the game. Only like 0.4% of the drives have it. And you have to get... You can do, you don't have to do them, you can have intervening jobs in between, but you have to do them in that direction and in that order in order to qualify for the achievement. So we have to find that Paris to Strasbourg left, left leg first. Now you apparently can do quick jobs, you can do freight jobs, you can do uh, external contracts, all of those things work, but there just has to be one available at the time. I was looking online that apparently there's kind of mods that allow you, come on, help me out here there you go push him over thank you so there are mods where you can plan your own routes and then if you have your own trailers it makes it a little bit more likely that you can get it as well but uh, i'm not going to really do the mod thing to do it i feel like I, it's more fun to just kind of see when they pop up and make it really hard so i'm going to keep my eyes out for those types of jobs going forward because i would like to start making progress on that achievement then the other thing i thought i might try to do is there's a bunch of achievements in paris where you have to deliver, make deliveries to like nuclear power plants. There's about three that are kind of unique like that. And I made a whole list of what they are, but I haven't seen any of those job offers yet either. So 
not doing that yet. So it, you know, we'll take this high tech hockey puck to this place for today. Then the other thing is by going all the way from Naples up to France and counting in now that we have three drivers earning money for us, we're up to almost 110,000 euros. This job should pay about 20,000 euros. So that'll give us 130 and that's enough to expand our base in Milan, our garage in Milan. So I think we'll do that at the end of this episode. We won't have enough to get another truck or hire another driver, but still that's that's progress. So kind of excited for that. And I think that's pretty much it here. The sun's going down. We're kind of, whoa, there's a big truck coming here. Push him over. Oof, that was close. Boy, there, there's been probably a dozen rotaries on this trip. All right. So far, so good. Looks pretty safe. All right. We're still doing okay here. So uh, let's touch base back in. Uh, that's pretty much, I think, everyone, everything I wanted to do about updates, talking about what we're going to do with our money, talking about things to do next. And I'm not quite sure if that Paris to Strasbourg run isn't there. I might just end up going to the east and seeing what's there and leave France behind. But uh, I thought this would be a fun episode. And so far, yeah, it's been pretty fun. And I like the drive here in the countryside. So we will keep going uh, and touch base at the next interesting thing or as we get like maybe about a half an hour away from the arrival. Uh, as night is settling down here, we're into this small village here somewhere in the French countryside. And there's a large church off the left-hand side. Can't see it at the moment. I wonder if it's a landmark. But it's pretty cool. I wish we knew more about it. Can we see it this way? Uh, nope. Too dark now. But I know there is a French landmark tour, too, where there's six landmarks scattered around the countryside. I was thinking on doing a couple of episodes on those, too. There may be a couple of really fun ones to look at. But uh, not as of yet. Still kind of leaning towards the idea of heading to Eastern Europe for a, a little bit of driving. So it's still about two and a half hours left. Uh, kind of slow going here. I very rarely feel comfortable going the 60 mile an hour limit because there'll be traffic. There's oncoming traffic and you kind of have to weave out of the way and try not to wipe stuff off on the right side of the road. Signs and posts and everything. But yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Hey, it's the giraffe! We've been here before. So I got a speeding ticket. We've got about an hour left in our drive here, and uh, the road's straightened out quite a bit, and traffic's really lightened up. It's after midnight now. Don't want to kill that motorcyclist. Fortunately, there's not been a lot of oncoming traffic recently, so only rarely do we have to kind of weave to avoid crushing something in the oncoming lane coming at us here but <clears throat> yeah this has been a fun drive i feel like i'm more comfortable with it now than in the the first time we did one of these for sure and they i've noticed they also they have different heights to these so i think we can cut closer to certain things on the right side with this one than we could with that boiler part that we had last time but Making good progress. The weather is nice. It's nice to have friends out here in front of us and behind us. And about 45 minutes to go. We'll touch base again before we check in for the final delivery or if something exciting happens. All righty. So we are about seven minutes away from our destination here. This is uh, nuclear power plants on the right-hand side. This Nucleon company, so there is an achievement. You have to make, I think, five d deliveries to all the nuclear power plants in France. Nucleon is the company you have to deliver to. So this must be one of them off here on the right. We can see the power plants up ahead there. But I'm not sure that our delivery goes to Nucleon. I thought it was something else here. Maybe it is. I wonder if this counts as one of them. We have arrived. Nice. I don't think we hit anything. That was fun. 
How did we do here? We got 13,006, 1, 4, 3, 21,000, so 1,200 experience points. That's kind of a good chunk of experience, almost to level 20. We did hit level 19 in the interim, and I picked up, I think it was the skill I got was the second to last high value cargo. So just one more high value cargo one, then probably start working on fragile cargo. So uh, we made progress there, but that takes us to the, uh, gets us that second truck job done here with the special transport. So that was kind of fun. Let's take a quick look at our drivers. We have three now and Kataleen, is her wages, her, her profit is dropping. She was up to 3,000 before, and now she's only at 1,400. Her rating is 2.5. Oh, she did hit level 9, though. That's good. Let's switch her back to long distance now. Miroslav, however, is at 4.2, ranking in 2,500 a day. Bronislaw still at 1.7, level 6. He's doing high-value cargo now. Let's, let's give him some fragile stuff just for fun. And that takes us to the nearly to the end, however. Let's go to, I saw that down there, Garage Manager. And let's take a look at Milan. Let's upgrade 100,000. And that should unlock those spots. Nice. What's going on? Oh, is it going to give us a little cutscene maybe? Because we have a upgraded base in Milan. There it is. Oh, whoa, we're big time now. Five truck bays instead of three. That's uh, kind of cool. Our empire is expanding. Now the next thing, of course, we need is two more trucks for this place so we can fill it up and get all five bays operational with trucks in them. So, well, that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode here. I think that's enough of the cutscene. Thanks so much for stopping in. Um, if you've enjoyed it, uh, please feel free to give it a like, uh, a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm um, going forward. I'm going to actually try to put this on a set schedule now. So I'm going to try to do Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, three episodes a week, and try to put them out pretty consistently on that basis. There may be an extra one on a Sunday if I get a little bit ahead. But that's the kind of thinking going forward is to do uh, three a week and try to be pretty consistent at it. So thanks so much for stopping by. We'll be back next time looking to gain more money to buy our fifth truck. And then I might try to start the Orient Express job or I might even just let's do, I'd like to do a long drive. So maybe try to like really get one that goes all the way close to Istanbul or something like that. So a bunch of different ideas. We'll see what pans out, but we'll see you in the next time. Thanks. Uh, stay safe and have a great day.